Hi Dresser Kitties, Wayne here. Today we're going to draw Zig the Silly Hyena from Zig and Sharko. If you love this cartoon, definitely check out my drawing of Marina the Mermaid. So get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw the Silly Hyena, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw two circles stuck together. And one right here, right next to it. And then let's come inside, maybe towards this edge, a little bit more towards the center, a little bit more. We're just going to put a little dot. And same thing here. And there. And then from there, we're going to come to the side of this eye and we're going to draw his cheeks. So I'm just going to come, uh, say, right here and just draw a sideways U and out. So right next to the eye. From there, I'm going to come to say about right here on this cheek, give myself a point, and then right here in the eye, just kind of right here, but same area, same point, and I'm going to give myself a point right here, and basically we're going to start to follow the same curve to draw his big nose. So let's just go back and forth. So now that we have these two curves in, let's come over here and I'm just going to start to bring out his nose. So nice and wide. Now we're going to come up a little bit. So say about right here, kind of the eye area. And then about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and curve it in and come back to here. And connect there. So we just want this huge nose right in here. Then from there, we're going to come about right here and we're going to cut it off. So about here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw an angle line and then his nostrils. So right about here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw one oval kind of at this angle and then another one about right here at the other angle there for his nostrils and I'll just I'll come in here and shade this all in now that I look at my camera I think this nostril just needs to be a slightly bigger to match this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more there okay so then from there now that we have that in let's come say about right here where this cheek ends we're just gonna go ahead and give yourself another point and and let's see here and then about right here we're gonna start to draw his teeth so I'm gonna bring a line down nice and long and then about right here I'm going to go ahead and connect it for his teeth right there. And I'll come in here and just lightly put in some angles. Right there for the individual teeth. And then let's come about right here and we're going to angle his mouth. So nice and big about right here. And we'll aim to say about right here. Go ahead and draw this curve and up right there. And then let's come inside for some details. Just gonna go ahead, draw another angle line, kind of following that one. And once again, just put some lines in here for the teeth. And then let's come over here, draw two curves for the tongue. And I'll just come in here real quick and shade this all in as well, just so you can see it a little bit better. In the original, it's actually two shades of um, black. There's actually a darker black right here and then light, a slightly lighter. But just to make it easier, we can just go ahead and shade everything in black.
From there, let's go ahead and draw the top of his head. So from right here, we're gonna go ahead and go around his eye. Just draw a curve. And about right here, I'll come down. So just a soft curve. Then about right here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop out an ear. So come out a little bit more and then come in. And about right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve down to start the body. And then on this side, let's not forget the other ear. I'm gonna go ahead and taper a curve right there and draw his other ear. And because I'm using a Sharpie, I know he has these hands I wanna put up here. So I'm gonna stop about right here and I'm going to draw two angle lines. So I'll say about right here. Let's start up here since it's easier for my hands to draw it downwards. But definitely turn your paper and whatever is easiest. So about right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue my curve for the body. So I'm just kind of following this and coming down. And I'm gonna curve in. Then about right there, I'm gonna come in this area right here and angle a line. So just going back and forth to build his body. And let's come bring this in. Around and come down. Then about right there, I'll stop. Because I need to pop out this little silly tummy that he has. <laughs> So we'll just come right here and draw a curve and continue this. So it's getting smaller and smaller. I mean, th thinner and thinner. And about right there, I'm gonna bring this in. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and curve for his legs. And then about right there, short little legs, and then I'm gonna pop out a foot and go straight across. And right here, go ahead and draw two curves for some details. And same thing here, curve, curve, and the other foot. Okay, and then let's finish up his tummy. I'm just gonna very lightly finish up this curve right here for his tummy. And then let's see here for his hands. So we have this hand that's coming out and about right there. I'll go ahead and start his hands. So come in with a big curve for a thumb. Then come up here come down with a curve, come back in with a little line right there. One more and another one. So three of them and then right here, go ahead and connect. And there's different color right here on his hand. So I'm just gonna add a curve right there and there. Now that we have this hand, let's go ahead and draw the other hand. So it's gonna be here and let's see about right here. So I'm gonna draw this line across. I mean, drag this line across, come down a tiny bit because I want it a little bit lower. And about right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw two angle lines. So I'll try to match the same thickness as the other hand. So about right there. And then once again, we're gonna do the same thing. Curve for big thumb right here. In, and once again, same thing. Curve, and then two more, and the palm. And then right here, we're gonna add a curve for a different color for his hands. And then now for the hair, um, with some details right here, go ahead and come out with a curve. Right here, bring it in, then one more. And this one's just gonna kind of taper into his body. And then his tail, of course. So about right here, I'm gonna add a tail, curve out, thicker right here, connect of an angle, and one more for some color. 
Oh, and then right here underneath his mouth, let's add a curve for some details. And, oh, let's not forget his, his little strand of hair, one strand of hair that he has, right? And then some details on his eyes. So right here, come to the center top, give myself a point, and I'm just gonna draw two curves over his eye to give him more of an expression. So same thing down here, because he's just so silly, right? So they're all done. I really hope you love how Zig turned out here and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. If you love this show and you want me to draw more characters from it, definitely comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.